Hi there. So uh, once again, we are doing another, um, just like the other video, uh, the, other, the other the other episode a few years ago. We're doing a um, what are we doing? We're just doing a tune up of the uh, of the uh, of the um, Power Max, uh, the old Power Max uh, Sears Kenmore uh, vacuum. Um, so we will take apart. So what we do is uh, okay. It goes in like this. There's the little you have a little belt here, and then and then you hook onto the belt onto the onto the, onto the spindle spindle bar, spindle dreidel thing, spindle dreidel. That's what I should call it. The idea. and then uh, usually if it's old, you will see a little bit of wear there. Here, turn this on. Usually you see a little bit of a wear there, uh, um, where um, where the uh, belt kind of ate into it. That's where you want to basically rest the uh, rest rest the rest the bar, but it goes in the okay, case. So, so this has little grooves in it. Each of these little um. Let's turn off that. Let's, let's, let's close that window. It's letting in all the sunlight and glare. And there we go. It's open to it. Ah, much better. It's getting kind of hot here. That's the thing about Canada too. It's so hot and so cold. I got. Katy Perry's hot and cold song that you can't that you, that you, that you well, that you think it's time is it's perfectly okay to wear a, a t-shirt and it's like brr cold then when it's uh, when the, then a few 15 minutes later the clouds go away and then uh, the clouds will dissipate and then um and then you have uh, it's cold again so that's a uh, Katy Perry's hot and cold song so. Let's wipe my glasses here. I can't even see this through this sweat, this cold sweat. So you watch this. As soon as I put on my, uh, as soon as I put on my uh, my t-shirt to cool down, then it's gonna get cold again. So let's go to let's go put on my t-shirt and. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, so we got we got uh, still recording. So I got my sweatpants on, or my 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 uh, fat stomach on. I got my San Francisco cat shirt on, and I've got my uh, pants on, my my shorts on. So therefore, ooh, this actually feels nice. Okay, so you will see that this that these that these spindles here have a little bit of a have a have a uh, have a uh, little groove there. Lands and grooves, just like a, just like a, my scoutmaster called those weird, uh, those weird um, tracks, a little track there. So uh, you basically want you want you basically want to put the uh, put the uh, put put this side of the this side of the uh, this side of the the the, uh, the conveyor belt, this side of the uh, the belt this, the belt on on the uh, on the outside. See this little thing that sticks up here. You want to put it on the outside of that. It's actually pretty hot because I, I tried to use it this afternoon, and somehow it got somehow the brush wouldn't spin. So, and then you kind of like a, work it, work it so it, so it, so it fits into the main, the main, the main, the main tracks. But in between there'll be a little track there. You just push it down. See, and then that's what's supposed to look like. That's what's supposed to look like, and then. Uh, Of course, make sure that the belt is a. Uh, see, it's supposed to spin, but something's sticky, making it sticky. So I'm, I'm presuming that there is some kind of a weird kind of a thing that's sticking, making this, making the brushes stick. And then, um, so as we, as we explored, as we experienced last week, uh, last last time, um, 
these things, these these these, these little these little nibs, they, they they pop off, right? Sometimes you need to have a little bit of a, but but we'll work on that later. For now, let us uh, let's pull out this uh, belt here. This belt has seen a lot of action. There's a little bit of a crack there somewhere. Um, but this 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 is a this is a this is a Kenmore. Power Mate Junior 2, Whisper Tone. Whisper Tone, uh, uh, the Whisper Tone, um, uh, vacuum. If you still have bags for that, because Sears closed down a few years ago, there's still maybe some, some, some bags still on the market, like thousands of them still, but, uh, other than that, I don't think, I don't think, they, I, I think, I think people have gone on, people have gone on to, uh, uh, to, to, to work, you know, people have gone on to, um, Going on to uh, what was it? Uh, the the British one, the uh, the Dyson Dyson sphere, and we'll we'll clean that out as well. I haven't. Last time I've done this was about maybe two and a half years ago. So obviously all this all this crud probably built up over the year. See all this crud at the bottom. This is dust at the bottom. I have to take a white wet white. Get yeah, don't don't use water on this under this thing. Of course, uh, use wet wet wipes. So once again, we're taking apart the four different uh, four, 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 four mounting screws here to the uh, main cover and power deck, and we'll clean the insides of it, making sure, making sure that's okay. Um, if you're not a technician, then this is just this is just basic, 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 basic uh, routine maintenance, just to make sure that uh, all the hairs, especially if you have uh, kids with long hair, or and eventually you can take this thing, you can take this effort apart and. So I don't see any, uh, I don't see any buildup of, of crud. It's really hot though, so. See, last time, last time there was all this hair on the spindle, there was all this, uh, shit on the spindle, there was all this, like, uh, hair on the inside, inside here. You know, I have to take the, the power scissors and just cut, clip it off. But I don't see anything too dirty on here. Uh, last, last time this thing was just, uh, last, last time this thing was just caked and caked in a, this thing is just basically caked in, um, basically it's really caked in, uh, caked in crap, and uh, there's also oil there too that we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to, don't want to dislodge. So you can probably, you could probably run, uh, yeah, so you can probably run the, um, run the, uh, see, 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 see some, there's some, some muck right there. There's the camera, there's some muck right there, if you want to get that out. So basically, you just so basically, you just, you just want to run this, and flush this, flush this crap into the uh, into the sink here, and just give it a good, give it a good soap out. So let's just run this, in, run this under your sink. Get some hot, get some, get some, uh, get some. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that right now. Then I guess I, I guess I won't vacuum. I guess I won't vacuum the carpet then, because uh, I want this thing to all totally dry off. So. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna scrub this underwater. This, of course, doesn't go underwater. But I'll take a little Q-tip and I'll scrub up all the uh, the burnt out shit everywhere, everywhere. There's, everywhere that I, I think there's a moving part, or anywhere that I think there's a there's a thing that that I could that, that, could, that could deserves a good scrub down. I will I will scrub it down, and then uh, clean the housing on here as well. So I don't want to. But. Uh, so once we uh, once we clean that out, then we gotta work on the spindle here. So there's a bit of hair. There's, there's lots of hair here. This is one thing that you have. If you have pets, if you have kids with long hair, or if you have a if you're if you have long hair yourself, then this this stuff will go everywhere. This stuff will go everywhere, and you just throw it into the garbage. But somehow these things, these these things, these hair things, we eventually get sucked into these little corners here. So let's do that. Let's uh, let's pop the corners out. Let's see a pair of pliers here, and uh, let's put the screws here so we know we know where to we know we know where to go. And we're gonna oil the inside of this too. Ah, see, see, there's some, there's some hairs peeking peeking out of this little this little thing here. Some hairs. Uh, some I don't see. I don't know if you can see it or not. This uh, this uh, there's some hairs right. Right, right there. Big piece. So, um, 
and uh, maybe that's what's caused causing the big jam up. So I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna use a needle nose plier to get a good grip on this thing. It. Oh. Uh. Ah. Shit. That didn't work. Okay, so I'm gonna have to use the. Uh, I'm gonna have to use the. Uh, use the makeshift um, prying lever kind of uh, device uh, action of a uh, of the um of this thing here. And hopefully, hopefully the the, uh, the spindle will start spinning free, freely. We use this. To, we use this actually to clean up to clean up the. Um, we use this to actually clean up the. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to break my finger. There we go. There we go. See, he goes underneath. Oh fuck! See, you just pull that sucker out, and right there. Oh shit! See right there. See that fuzz right there? That's that's actually hair that got sucked into. That's two years worth of hair. The last time I did this was two years ago. So there we go. That should do it. I got perfect place for that actually. It's gonna go into the uh, see. It looks, like a, it looks like a spool of hair. And oh, same thing with this. Same thing with this side here. This is. Uh, See, the thing is, the hair gets gets so overheated, it actually fuses together to like this weird plastic, plastic looking thing. So if you have lots of daughters, if you have lots of sons of long hair, or you have pets, and you have you know your wife or yourself have long hair, you know basically lots of long hair, you gotta you gotta be doing this a lot. So, oops. So we're going to uh, give these things a good scrub down. As you can see, this bar, this bar is starting to get all dried up and rusted and stuff, and it's got a little bit of a cog wheel there, so cog wheel action there. So we're gonna give this a good rinse down too. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta clean this out and clean out all the hairs. And this actually, I actually did this like two years ago. Um, so I'm gonna assume that uh, this is all, this is all from the, this is all from the stairs too. This is now designated as a stair. This hair donut, hair donut there. Wow, I actually, I actually thought that this would actually take years and years to build up, but I actually didn't think that I was going to... Okay, so here we're going to take the Q-tip and scrub out all that carbonated crap. Everywhere there's a nook and cranny, and I'm not going to bother out to bother to uh, degrease it up. And see, there's lots of shit everywhere and copper wiring here. Here, we're going to flush, we're going to scrub these, uh, scrub all this plastic wear out, work out. All this plastic work out, and then uh, we're gonna let all these machinery dry. We're gonna let all these machinery dry, and then um, then we're going to give this a good scrub down too. Scrub with all the hair, scrub with all the gunk, all the grease. Then we're gonna scrub these little these little clips off. We're gonna scrub the top of this off. We're gonna scrub this top of this off, and uh, then we're gonna we're gonna. We're gonna oil this fucker up again. See, it's starting, starting to sound really rusted there. And then we're gonna put this here. We're gonna put the put this clip here, and then suck it all back in. And then what we're gonna do is uh, put it back together, and then hopefully, so we're gonna put the we're gonna put the uh, vacuum cleaner downstairs, and we're gonna try and. Uh, I'm gonna put the vacuum cleaner downstairs, and we're gonna try and um, uh, what is it? We're gonna put the vacuum cleaner downstairs, and we're gonna try and uh, get this uh, thing back together. And that's how you that's how you keep your machine alive for for another two years, so it doesn't so it doesn't so it doesn't build up with all this gunk. This is actually a pretty good design, actually. As for the inside of this motor here. Um, <sighs> As, as for the inside of this motor here, we're not gonna we're not gonna do too much of it. Uh, it's in good shape still. Still, it still reads as Canadian uh, Canadian uh, SCA approved. Oh, I. 
eventually when these things do burn out, then we can, uh, the ball bearings or whatever burn out, then we can gank these. And you can do that too. See, if you just, if you watch any old, uh, any old dismantling video of, uh, any old motor dismantling video, uh, uh, smelters, sometimes they'll just bin, you know, go to industrial parks and they'll just bin all the shit there. Uh, you can take, you, can, you wear gloves because this is, sometimes this metal can be quite toxic. Uh, doesn't bother me anything, but, you know, you never know, right? There's another bit of hair there. And then you just, uh, take this apart, clip it apart, and just melt this fucker. There's all this copper wire, copper, and copper wiring down, and return it back into the, uh, into the ecosystem. And not, uh, return it back into the economy. So they don't, they don't have to keep on, uh, you know, it's like, in fact, I, I think, I think I like to invest in, uh, Metal salvaging, you know, those, those, those companies that take apart these things and just salvage the metal. Take some wire snip, wire clippers and just snip, snip, snip. Uh, take apart this little plug here, throw the plug away and uh, snip, snip, snip the plug here. And, uh, wow. Even the, uh, even the, the, even, this is so old that even the, even the heads are, deserve to be, to be, to be, to be deserve to be, to be, to be cleaned. So I have some alcohol, I have some rubbing alcohol downstairs. So we, maybe we can use some of that to clean some of this shit off and uh, clean some of this crud off and just uh, make sure, making sure that none of this uh, toxic coating. Make sure that maybe even even make it more e fuel efficient. Let's go do that. So this will be in a video too, where I'm uh, video crafting this in the camera, and uh, maybe I'll. I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna think I'm gonna do this in the uh, downstairs bathroom because you know the upstairs bathroom is enough. I gotta do something weird with the downstairs bathroom. Then in my two years, in my two years, uh, in my two years, uh, two years later, I'm going to uh, uh, take this thing apart again and then uh, give it a give it a final clean out. Oh, we gotta do the Dyson as well. So, so I'm gonna. Oh, uh, let's go dump this. Let's go dump this into the into the crazy ass. Um, Let's see if there's any microfibers, though. Yeah, I hope this is just hair, not microfibers. Okay, so this contains microfibers uh, uh, from the carpet, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not going to, uh, yeah. It's hair and microfibers, so we're not gonna put that into the water system. Let's put that into the garbage instead. I get uh, sticky fingers there, and uh, all right, so uh, we see you guys. I uh, see you guys in the so. So we know that uh, needle nose pliers don't work on this on, on this thing anymore. If anything, I'm just uh, I'm just scarring the. Uh, see if anything, I'm just scarring the plastic. Denting and scarring the plastic unnecessarily. Uh, let's see, I'm just denting and scarring the plastic unnecessarily. Okay, let's go clean this machine up. So, uh, all right, I'll see you guys in a few seconds.